Uh, dearest gents, exclamation point, looking at all the quote unquote handhelds being announced, e.g. Strix Halo projects, what do you think might be the impact for a Steam Deck 2? Having nothing to report on by, on that front by Valve or anybody else, I would be interested in your thoughts on a quote unquote current estimation slash state of hardware uh, Valve Steam Deck 2. Cheers, exclamation point. Um, yeah, I mean, here's the thing, right? I mean, especially when you're looking at the um, uh, the, the Z2 Extreme that's going to be in the Ally X, it's like, you know, we're seeing over the over each sort of generation, um, what can you, how can you describe it? I, I think, you know, iterative bumps is uh, at the same wattage is the, um, is, is the best description there. And Valve is on the record as saying they want a proper generational leap. Now, um, Oliver, we've had those rumors obviously about the playstation handheld mm -hmm. and um the you know based on the specs that are being suggested there the logical conclusion should be that whether it's called udna or rdna5 that does seem to be some sort of generational leap which has made Sony think, actually, we could probably do a handheld here. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's the same generational leap that Valve will look at and think, hey, maybe we should be doing a Steam Deck 2. Yeah, I personally think they're going to wait for next generation architecture because among the current landscape of devices from, you know, RDNA 2, RDNA 3, RDNA 3.5, whatever APUs might be out there, there's not really a compelling upgrade point for them at 15 watts either in, a, in an actually existing design or in a design you could imagine in your head <laughs> too much there. Um, I could definitely see an argument in favor of a more incremental upgrade approach. I think that's a reasonable approach to go down, but Valve seems intent not to upgrade for like a 20% or 30% performance upgrade at the same wattage. Um, and in that context, I don't think Strix Halo changes the game because it really needs to be fed with high wattages in order to perform at its best. At 15 watts, again, it's not a huge advantage over other handhelds out there. I don't think Strix Point changes the game either. Again, unless they're willing to commit to a much higher TDP range for a potential Steam Deck 2 that would potentially you know, require a big change in design, a big change in strategy. They don't want to do that. So I would suggest that like RDNA 5, UDNA, whatever that ends up being, will probably be the kind of inflection point for next generation Steam Deck product. And I would expect them probably to make fairly similar trade-offs to to Sony in terms of achieving good performance at 15 watts. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, good stuff. Um, thoughts there, Tom? Only that, I mean, I can't see, obviously Strix Halo is just a huge behemoth uh, chipset. I, I don't think they could uh, possibly use that, but I think Oliver's right on the money by saying that it's going to come down to another generational, uh, the next evolutional generation of AMD's fabrication process there. If they come up with a new design, new chipset, that's probably where we're going to veer uh, or where Valve will go towards for Steam Deck 2. I'm expecting in terms of uh, the hardware as well, like they're probably going to match the Switch 2 in terms of having a 1080p display. That seems to be where things are going, and that seems to be a logical target. Um, but yeah, 15 watts has to be kind of the goal there. I mean, uh, in terms of power output. Otherwise, we're resorting to, you know, uh, some extremes in terms of the design that I'm not sure people would be comfortable with in terms of a handheld. Yeah. I think ultimately the weird thing about all of this is that um, we've seen several generational leaps now from Steam Deck. Um, and we've seen, you know, process shrinks and we've not really seen like what you would typically expect to get from that kind of, uh, thing, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, specifically process shrinks, for example, mm -hmm. uh, steam deck was seven nanometer and, uh, we're kind of now at four nanometer and there's still no sort of game changing, uh, performance boost that you would expect. And it ultimately must come down to something like memory bandwidth, which has been historically constrained on um, APUs and uh, hasn't really changed a huge amount. I think that's probably the reason there. I can only assume that, you know, at some point, the sums are going to work out in terms of memory bandwidth, in terms of increased compute, in, co in terms of machine learning features. I think you can look at Switch 2, you know, and, and just see how much of a game changer DLSS has been there and uh, kind of map that onto um, PC handhelds as well. You know, a similar level of um, uh, machine level 
uh, machine learning uh, quality upscaling there. That's going to be a, a big thing as well. So what can I say? You know, um, I guess it's just wait and see. I do think, though, that the, the signs are looking good for this next generation. 